All right, today's project, we are getting our windshield repaired since we acquired this new little crack. We figured since we were getting the rest of the seals repaired, which you can see this one over here, is I believe it's the last window they have to do. The rest of them are completed. And then the windshield. And then Berta will be all good. The job took two full days to complete. Day one was about 10 of the creeping seal windows, and day two, which was about a week in between, but day two was the last couple creeping seals and the windshield. So for video purposes, we're gonna go back in time, start at day one. The guys are getting set up here. We got a big day today. I believe the number is either 12 or 13 of our window panes have the uh, what's called creeping seals. You can see it very, very ugly. Uh, of course, the windows lose their insulation efficiency. This is the kitchen window. So all throughout the coach, it's 12 or 13 of the panes are going to, he will actually take the panes out, take the seal out, clean the glass, and put in a new seal that has a, a base, I believe, lifetime warranty. So they'll be better than new. Here's a little more of the creeping seals. You can see much better from the, from the inside. I've Took video of a few of the windows on the outside, but it's a bright sunny day here, so probably a lot of glare. That's the passenger front. It's the living above the sofa. Kitchen. Hallway. <laughs> a lot of these are bad, and I guess this era in the late 90s, I'm not sure who the window manufacturer actually is but the windows used in my 97 beaver monterey which at the time beaver was owned by safari uh, these windows not so good we're getting them taken care of today All right, we got Angel in here. This is step one, I guess. You're taking the inside frame off to get the sash or the pane out. And then what, you're gonna collect them all? Take them all outside and do your thing? Yeah. Okay, this is pane number one coming out. Something missing here. The hallway window down there with Jesus. All right, what are you doing? What are you doing with the torch? <laughs> I'm up the, uh, this bracket here is held in uh, with double-sided sticky tape, so I'm just putting heat on it. To remove it? To, remove to pull it, it off? Uh -huh. Okay. Well, that's the reason for the torch there. So you're just getting these, this one apart right now still. Once it starts to slide, it kind of... Yeah. You have to make sure... You, you gotta really go slow. Really loosen up, have to yeah. be patient.
Got yeah. aluminum strip. That's in between oh, the yeah, okay. Over time, what they heat, it just expands. Mm, okay. That's it. It starts bringing its way in there. So does this new that you're applying still have that little aluminum piece in it, or is this just? No. Okay. So no, that... this one does that have the so aluminum strip. It won't have that issue as much, or if. No. Cool. No, that's on the on the Beaver motorhomes is where they carry the aluminum strip there. Really. So. Interesting. Because they don't really get foggy. Because they have a good seal, it's just that strip that they put in there. Yeah, because they're in Oregon, they don't have to worry about it getting hot. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much here in Arizona. Now on to the windshield. This windshield was being a stubborn little booger. The guys finally get it out. <laughs> 